Hi everyone, welcome to the Versatile Artist. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for watching this video. Now that the days are becoming shorter, greyer and cooler, it is the time when we start to feel the need for slowing things down a bit. It's nature's call to us to reconnect with ourselves, to reflect on what is, what we have, what might need some attention or adjustment, and it's also the time for more cozy evenings at home. Nature reflects the change of the seasons in the most beautiful way. The more we live according to them, the more they will work for us. During the summer months we feel energized and therefore it's the time of the year that we spend much more out and about without feeling exhausted too quickly. When the leaves turn into the brightest yellows and reds, when chestnuts and acorns stud the ground, when the sun shows up only occasionally, then it's time to adjust to it and prepare ourselves for a more tranquil time. Winding down after a long and busy day is essential for a good night's sleep and feels even more needed when the temperatures drop. Even though most part of this evening routine will be very beneficial throughout the year, but some additions will be particularly helpful for setting the tone for the darker months of the year. Candles play a big part in setting up the right atmosphere. Having children, I'm very careful about them though, and I've come to appreciate the candles with LED lights inside of them. However, when I'm sure I won't be distracted by anything, nothing can beat the gentle crackling noise and the scent of a real candle. It's also the time for warming comfort food, Stews, soups, curries, they're all very nourishing and they can be cooked in batches in advance. So that will allow for more time for, for example, playing with your kids or doing something creative. We eat dinner pretty early, rarely after 6 p.m. I've always slept better when there was enough time between dinner and bedtime because the digestive system has had time to do its work and won't be busy anymore when I'm ready to sleep. An important part of my personal self-care is cleaning my face thoroughly and my teeth, of course. Then I put on some nourishing products on my face while gently massaging them in. It's a few minutes just for myself that help me to relax even more. I do this pretty early because I love the feeling of fresh and clean skin and I prefer being makeup free for the better part of the evening. I love reading but oftentimes I can't find the time to sit down and submerge myself in a story. Early evenings make that possible again and I look forward to reading all the books I have collected over the last months. Oftentimes I like to write in the evening, either just in my journal to recapitulate the day or to sort some thoughts. Or when ideas are flowing for creative projects I'm working on, I will also write those down to make sure I don't lose any of them. That ensures that I will not constantly think about them, which can be rather tedious when you lie in bed 
and can't fall asleep because the ideas keep spinning around. Writing them down is the best way to make sure I can let go of them for the night because I know I can take it from there the next day. Of course I also love watching a TV series or a film, but since I prefer going to bed no later than 10pm, I will try to resist the temptation to binge watch, even though this can be hard at times. Anyway, I try to avoid watching anything too disturbing in the evening, otherwise my mind won't stop ruminating about what I've seen. On many evenings, my husband and I will just have a really long conversation about everything on our mind. This is something I deeply value because it keeps us connected and it keeps deepening our relationship. On most evenings I will do another meditation or a gentle bedtime yoga routine to close the day off. And then it's time for bed. Do you have an evening routine and does it change throughout the year? Let me know down below in the comments box what it is that helps you to get a better and more relaxed sleep. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week with another video on creative and mindful living. I have Facebook, I have Instagram, I have Patreon. All applicable links are down below in the comments box. Is it in the comments box? No, in the description box. Yeah, well, it's time to wrap this up. So have a lovely week. Take care, stay healthy, stay safe and see you. Bye bye.